This is the rebirth of the Kia Optima. From humble to hot, from bland to bold. The Optima versus the previous generation was night and day. It was a high-risk makeover with billions at stake. Could a plain Jane sedan be turned into a supermodel? If it bombs, you've got a $2 billion mistake on your hands. They fired up a futuristic assembly plant, poured buckets into research and development, and recruited the world's top auto designer. He is absolutely brilliant. But could he do the near impossible? Turn a perennial wallflower into the life of the party? It's been a David and Goliath type story. Now buckle up while we take you for a spin in the fast lane. Through design, testing, and production, it's the birth of a Kia Optima. This is the new Optima, a car that has undergone one of the most dramatic makeovers in the auto world. It's the new face of Kia. Since 1944, the company has been known for making reliable, inexpensive vehicles, from bikes and motorcycles to workaday trucks and basic sedans. But if you were seeking thrills, you would not be looking here. I've heard it described rather unflatteringly as the grocery getter. You bought a Kia because you had to. This was a company known for nothing but little tin boxes, and they had virtually no value, no interest, other than the fact that they were the cheapest cars you could buy. By 2006, cheap wasn't cheerful for the bottom line. Demand for this conventional sedan had topped out at around 50,000 cars a year in North America. Competitors in the same class were selling at five times that rate. The challenge? To take this grocery getter and turn it into something that would set it apart in the market. Failure would bring public humiliation and a possible loss of millions, if not billions of dollars. This was a big gamble. The company had an ace up its sleeve, a newly recruited superstar in the world of auto design who is to oversee a global team of designers on a mission to turn a simple, functional ride into a true object of desire. Peter Schreier was a house on fire. He made a huge difference. When design met engineering, it was time to put it to the test. In the extremes of the California desert, the Optima was subjected to reliability, handling, and even comfort testing. In essence, the overall engineering of the car. It's far beyond what most normal drivers and vehicle owners will ever see. Finally, the Optima hit the plant, an ultra-high-tech facility ruled by robots. We have 240 resistance welding robots that produce between 1,300 and 1,500 cars daily. The entire makeover risked failure if the intricacies of design and engineering couldn't be mass-produced at an affordable price. Since the start of this journey, the company has been hanging its future on the vision of one man, designer Peter Schreier. Leading a global team from his base in Frankfurt, this designer has done the near impossible, turning the company around almost single-handedly. Peter Schreier's numerous design awards include Man of the Year from prestigious Automobile Magazine. As a star at Audi and Volkswagen, Schreier's pedigree certainly qualified him for the job, but that didn't mean this was going to be easy. His vision would either make or break the future of the Optima and perhaps even the car company itself. It's a huge challenge for Peter to come from a company like Audi to an underdog car company the best challenge of all. He was to tackle the entire line and create a new face for the automaker. Kia is like a clean sheet of paper. I had the chance to completely start on a white canvas and I could say shape the brand the way I thought it would be right. When we heard he went to Kia, we were shocked. I mean, really shocked. The Optimo was to be the pinnacle of Schreier's redesign, created to be a competitive high-end vehicle at an affordable price. The hardest thing to do is to build a car like this because it is so competitive. There's so many players involved. You can write a check and build a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, but if you want to build a bestseller, 
It's a very, very tough proposition. The new Optima would put the company on the world stage, open to the scrutiny of consumers, other car companies, and the toughest critics. There was a certain degree of risk uh, in Kia taking this approach to do a, a very high-styled mass-market mid-size sedan. Uh, I think it was a calculated risk, and I think they had to do it because otherwise they wouldn't have attracted any attention. The previous generation of the Kia Optima was a very capable vehicle. However, it lacked styling, it lacked excitement. Uh, consumers were not typically drawn to that vehicle. The old Optima, it was a car that people bought if they were very rational. It wasn't a car that people, let's say, were aspire to buy. Mechanically, the new Optima is a revolution from the old one. The old Optima, if we take a look at this example here, has the V6 in it. At about 194 horse and 184 foot-pounds of torque. The new Optima has a four-cylinder direct injection, 200 horse and 196 foot-pound of torque. About 23 to 25 percent better on fuel, way more refined, better on emission, so it's a lot more car. The direct injection engine is very strong. A little bit of, of low-end noise because direct injection is a bit noisier of, of a process, but uh, tremendous performance for, uh, for the size of car and excellent fuel economy, which is another advantage of, of direct injection. Peter Scherr designed a great car. We need to make sure to back it up with great technology, meaning GDI engine, six-speed automatic, great suspension, great safety, great ergonomics, and a leading-edge technology hybrid. On a journey to prove its efficiency, the Optima Hybrid crossed 48 states using only five and a half tanks of gas, averaging 900 kilometers a day. For this feat, the Hybrid was awarded with a Guinness World Record. I think that um, Hybrid is a very great technology, very important for us. The Optima Hybrid has industry-leading polymer batteries and an electric motor that can achieve 120 kilometers an hour without the assistance of the gasoline engine. It's cool to drive a hybrid car because uh, suddenly you don't hear an engine anymore, you just glide along. I think uh, it's not only important to make nice design, it's, it's important to make good cars with good performance and good uh, fuel consumption. And this huge field comes to life, and I'll tell you, nothing like hearing all this power. One of the things Kia is doing that will go a long way to turning this whole perception of a car without quality uh, around is entering racing. When we participate in racing, it puts Kia in a, in a different level. Somehow we belong to the club. The Optima race car a Kia racing, I mean, that is the ultimate test of credibility because it's put your money where your mouth is. If you win on Sunday, then you sell on Monday. That's always been the case. Welcome to the Motor City and the Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix, the latest stop along the Pirelli World Challenge circuit. Start your engines! Every weekend through the summer, car makers from around the world go head to head on tracks like this. This is one of North America's top production car competitions. And this year, there's a new player in town. I have to be honest, when we first showed up, they kind of chuckled a little bit. The hardcore race fan, maybe the other racers themselves, the people who are in the paddock that we're competing against, they didn't really take us very seriously. Camaros, Porsches, Mustangs, and Caddies. Most of the usual heavy hitters are here, showing off their latest creations and getting ready to put them to the ultimate test. It's been a very uh, interesting uh, David and Goliath type, type story. It's a monumental challenge, but is the path to the podium possible with the vision of Peter Schreier and his team? It's good design, and that fundamental good design has made it a good race car. Coming up, it wasn't easy. Starting from scratch had certain freedoms, but also plenty of pitfalls. This fresh face was on a journey to the end of the line. Would the industry's harshest critics buy in? Inside the Kia Car Company, there's a new mission, to build vehicles that buck their practical image and give drivers something bold to get excited about. They'll have the full support of the most high-tech facilities in North America, but it's an ambitious challenge, a process laden with risk. 
Building a brand is the toughest thing to do in the car business. Mechanical reliability, that's only science. You can figure that out. Fit and finish, you can eventually learn that. Styling, you can hire somebody. But establishing a brand, that's very, very difficult. The star player in this company's makeover is Peter Schreier, a world-class designer with an automobile legacy second to none. For Kia, whatever they're paying him, it's not enough. I mean, he has been, to me, a key to establishing an identity. The greenhouse sits very far back, so this gives it this kind of, of dignity. Design is not just the surface, design goes beyond, and it's actually the connection between man and machine. The makeover began with a new face. When I look out the window here all the time and I see the traffic, and when the cars stop at the traffic lights, some of them you recognize. You can see, aha, uh -huh, that's a BMW and that's a Mercedes. I wanted Kia to be recognized, and I want people to have an awareness of our brand. And this is why uh, one of the first things that I did was to create a special grill and, uh, and a special front face and an expression that fits to Kia and that is new and that is so distinctive so no other car has it. Uh, so I did this shape with the two tabs in the middle that somehow uh, are a little bit like teeth. The tiger nose would become one of the defining features of the new Optima and the face of an entire car company. Look at a tiger, like a tiger's nose, like it comes out and has the, you know, this strong three-dimensional look to it. And it, it, it's, a, it's a symbol of power and dignity and the way the tiger looks. If it was not that iconic or that distinctive, you, you would not recognize our cars immediately. And then they would just pass by anonymous. Then the ultimate challenge head up an international team of designers to completely overhaul the Optima and make it a winner in the most competitively ruthless class of automobiles. Peter Schreier has a knack for understanding what consumers are looking for in a vehicle. Um, he's able to do so by injecting incredible styling cues in a vehicle, but at the same time exercising uh, the necessary restraint so that car doesn't go overboard. And the Optima is a perfect example that actually appeals to the widest demographic I have ever seen. Design is now a global language. There are trends in some places. In his studio in Germany, you'll know about cars that have to perform on the Autobahn and cars that are high luxury. And there's a different expectation from different areas of the world. You have to now have studios everywhere, which he does. He has a new studio in Shanghai and he is in the air most of the time.